are you today? Are you sick? Oh, it was just a stomach ache. Come to the window. I want to come over. Can I? I got some homework for you. I'm coming, okay? I have a mask. Okay, but the doctor says I'm not contagious. It's okay if you are. I gotta get used to being around sick people if I'm gonna be a doctor. Sure. Come by whenever. Showing myself in. Your mom said to. Ginger tea. It's good for upset tummies. Ever wonder what's happening in your stomach? I do all the time. Well, not all the time, but a pretty fair amount of the time, like now. 98.6. Normal. So, you want to know all about your gut, huh? Uh, bacteria! In my stomach? Everywhere. You're covered in bacteria. Covered? No wonder my stomach hurts. No, we're all covered. Millions and millions of tiny little microbes. That's what bacteria are called. Microbes. They're on me too. All kinds. Want to see pictures? I have pictures. Boom. Spherical shaped bacteria. Rod shaped bacteria. Spiral shaped bacteria. That one's my favorite. Phew. I don't think I have any. No, you do. We all do. They're just too small to see with our eyes. Way too small. It wasn't until microscopes became strong enough that anyone could even see a microbe. I wonder what it was like when the very first person saw bacteria on their own skin. <laughs> Want to know why bacteria are also called microbes? Because they're so eensy weensy, itty bitty, you could only see them with a microscope. Get it? Microbes. Microscope. Microbes are everywhere. In the water, in the dirt, on rocks, even in the air. Bacteria even live inside of other living things, like you and me. Maybe the president should be alerted. Someone should do something about this. No, it's okay, really. A lot of kinds of bacteria are super helpful, like some of the kinds in your gut. You're sure about this? Positively. And we need them just as much as they need us. How? Well, one kind of bacteria that we have in our gut is also in yogurt, and it helps protect us from bad bacteria. And some bacteria help us digest parts of plants. And other bacteria make other nutrients that we need called vitamins. Okay, I guess I'm good with those guys. But what about the bad bacteria? Bad bacteria are just a bunch of germs. They can make us sick, but there are all sorts of things we can do to get rid of bad bacteria. You can wash your hands with soap when they're dirty. And when you're cooking food, you can make sure the kitchen and the cooking tools that you're using are nice and clean. Just cooking food kills lots of bacteria. That's why some foods should only be eaten after they've been cooked. So how's your stomach now? Better. <laughs> <laughs>